Welcome to Fort Worth and Dickey's Arena. Let's rekindle an old Southwest Conference rivalry, shall we? Texas A&M and TCU meeting for the first time since that league folded 25 years ago. Kevin Samuel pulls down the rebound, averaging 11 boards per game for TCU. Here's Miles from distance. A triple to tie the score. 21 against Oklahoma, 20 more points against Providence on Wednesday. An answer from freshman Hassan Diora between the three-point line and the sideline. Miles wants his second three. Give it to him. Gordon in the lane. Denied. Kevin Samuel says no way. That's what he does best. Well, especially compared to last year where they were bottom 20 in the country in three-point shooting. Miles in the lane this time for two. Vaughn, Ontario, Canada, near Toronto. Yeah, and Coach talked about him being able to make shots and plays. That's big. Getting buckets from Todd. Now, if anything, the Aggie coaches were saying we didn't think that he could rebound like he has so far. On the break, up top, Todd to Nemhard for the slam. B because of the steal. Nice job. Sharing is caring. And Nemhard gets into the act with his athleticism. Rolling to the basket, trying to find him. Nemhard does, and Samuel stuffs it. Timeout in Fort Worth. But TCU is in the groove with the big fella rolling right down the middle. Unmolested. Max intensity, all effort, right? Always being around the ball and getting to the rim. Well, listening to him talk last night, if Fuller knocks down the three, I'd be surprised if they don't go back to Miller here. It's Savion wow. flag right down the lane as Andre Gordon finds him. This is a &M. They're coming out of that zone. They're playing a man now. They're going to have to get some stops. Nemhard, no look to Miles, who finishes with contact. A chance at a three-point play for the freshman. We've been talking eight. about Jimmy B a lot. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, this week especially. Yeah. Kevin Easley, the transfer from Chattanooga, splashing in the three. A friend and or family member, but... Oh, here's another turnover. R.J. Nemhard for two more. Nemhard inside to Kevin Samuel for two. For Nemhard, that's his sixth assist. Nemhard stepping into a three. He drains it. Seven triples now for the Frogs. Again, for Texas A&M, this is their first game against a power conference opponent. Chandler had it stripped. Highlight reel material from R.J. Nemhard. I don't think there is a, a right or wrong answer to this because mental health is important. And that was a long time ago. Stepping in front, Hassan Diara. Numbers for A&M. Quentin Jackson the layup. Missed the opener against New Orleans because of what Buzz Williams called muscular issues. Off the steal, Quentin Jackson with a slam. Lob to abandon, it's punched out by Flag. Jackson the other way. The step against Todd. And two more for Quentin Jackson. Zone, which is basically about not trying to speed you up, slow you down. Miles out to Nemhard. Jackson leaves it for Morpho, the grad transfer with the dunk. Great action by Jackson coming off of that dribble handoff. Oh, Miles to O'Bannon at the other end. Anything you can do, I can do better. Diora over Fuller. Flag the follow. You mentioned the second field goal for Flag. They, this A&M team, as young as they are, as Diora knocks down the three, especially just for jerseys alone. I mean, they've had some battles. They actually beat Kentucky. P.J. Fuller, count it, and the foul. 17, to be exact, which is right on their season average. Miles, NBA range three at the end of the shot clock. Nemhard in the lane. Nice pass from Flag, and J.J. Chandler sticks the three. 
73-55 the final. A no-doubter from TCU today.